When you're doing forest stand improvement to improve deer habitat quality, your goal is to remove overabundant or invasive tree species to help bring sunlight back to the ground and drive the production of deer forage and cover. I'm going to show you a tree species that's a common candidate for removal in eastern hardwood forests, and that's American beech. Now, when we say that beech is a candidate for removal, the first thing we hear from people is, wait, beech produces a beech nut that deer eat and squirrels eat beech nuts, and bears eat beech nuts, and birds eat beech nuts, turkeys. You can't kill beech, it's a good tree. We didn't say eradicate American beech. We simply said it's a, often a candidate for removal because it's overabundant. Beech has an enormous shade footprint. You rarely find any forage or cover growing underneath a beech tree, and they're extremely common. That makes it a good candidate. Yes, American beech does produce mast that wildlife use, but American beech is a very inconsistent mass producer. It produces an abundant mass crop about every six to eight years. And it's really, even then, not a significant amount of nutrition for most wildlife. Just like with any mass producing tree, whether it's oaks or beech or hickory, you can actually produce more mast with fewer trees. If you select a single quality tree to enjoy a large open space and command of resources like sunlight and moisture and nutrients, that single tree with its competitors removed is going to produce more mast than a whole bunch of the same species competing against each other in the same space. The other nice thing about beech trees is they tend to hold their leaves long into the winter, just like this tree and others that you see behind me. So it makes it easy for you to spot them in the woods where you hunt. Also gives you a good eye toward recognizing exactly how abundant these trees are and just how much shade they put out. When you're doing forest stand improvement for deer, no tree is sacred just because it produces mast. You can have too many oaks or too many hickory or too many beech. And if you keep them all and hoard them just because they produce mast, you're not going to achieve the right balance of sunlight and mast production and forage and understory cover that you're going for when you're doing forest stand improvement for deer. Research at the University of Tennessee found that a shaded forest like the one I'm standing in that's getting about two to 3% sunlight on the ground is producing about 100 pounds to the acre of quality deer forage. But if you can increase that to 50% sunlight, you're getting 10 times the amount, 1,200 pounds to the acre of high quality deer forage. So you wanna shoot for 30 to 50% sunlight. Get out there and look for candidates to remove, select a few mass producers, give them room to grow, they'll produce more mast. And meanwhile, the space in between that you've opened with sunlight is going to produce a lot of deer forage and cover that's consistent year to year and not inconsistent like a mast crop. For a whole lot more on forest stand improvement and other habitat improvement tips for deer, visit us online at deerassociation.com. And don't forget that we're a nonprofit organization. Help us achieve our mission today by hitting the thanks button there in the bottom of your screen and making a donation. Thank you.